Joining us now, Democratic Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona. Senator, thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, we're talking a lot about the politics of this. Let's talk about the practical questions that have come up in the last couple of days in your state. What does this ruling from the state Supreme Court mean on the ground for women in Arizona? Well, Willie, this is a disaster uh, for women. It's going to drive doctors out of the state. We've seen that mm -hmm. already when Donald Trump uh, had Roe overturned. Uh, when he was president uh, because of the Supreme Court decision. I've spoken to those doctors, and that gives uh, women a lot less options. Uh, and this is all because of Donald Trump. I mean, and uh, we, we've got a situation now where uh, doctors could be thrown in jail for just doing their job. So this is a disaster for women, and it's clear why this happened. And the former president, you know, Donald Trump, um, you know, spiked the ball on Monday on this thing. Uh, you know, claiming that he is responsible for this, and it's because he is. So, Senator, uh, driving doctors out of the state, I think, would just be the beginning. Um, let's think about what the long-term ramifications of this would be. Would this law being enforced? Who's going to want to go to college in Arizona? Who's going to want to go on vacation in Arizona? Who, if you're a woman of childbearing age or a woman who wants health care, doesn't even need to be pregnant, Who's going to want to go work in Arizona? Yeah, Mika, that's uh, you know certainly a a big issue for us. Uh, the President Biden has taken steps that's going to create tens of thousands of good-paying jobs in the clean energy and semiconductor industry, and now we have this hanging over us. Uh, at the same time, you know, Joe just pointed out uh, Florida being a military state. Well, so are we. I served in the Navy for 25 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you when you serve uh, in the military, you don't get a, a, a choice as to where you go. Right. So, so folks are going to be, you know, they're going to be, these are orders, you're sent to a state. And they're, mm. if you're a woman or you're a spouse of a service member who's a woman, your health care is going to be at risk. In some cases, literally, your lives will be at risk. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Senator uh, Kelly. It's Molly Jongfest. Um, I'm curious when you are talking about this, the, what we've seen in states like Louisiana is OBGYNs afraid to treat in the first trimester. So I'm curious. Is there anything you guys can do? You do have a Democratic governor. You have Democratic led. You don't have a Democratic right, legislature, but you do have some Democrats. Uh, can, is there anything you can do to to tell OBGYNs, gynecologists, that they're safe to treat, that they have some protection? Is there anything you can do to protect these women before November? Yeah, Molly, I've, I've spoken to CEOs of hospitals about this, about you know their interactions with their own staff. OBGYNs who are, you're right, they're scared because of the ramifications of this law that is two centuries old. Uh, 1864 could throw them in jail for two to five years. Doctors are scared. So um, I've talked to you know, CEOs, CEOs about specific cases where uh, a woman was going into, uh, they, they didn't want to treat the woman until she was nearing sepsis. Uh, I mean, that puts that woman's life literally at risk. You ask, what can we do? Well, the legislature could pass a repeal of this 1864 law. They could have done it yesterday. They didn't. There was chaos at our state legislature. They adjourned because they knew the votes were actually there. There are, are a few Republicans and the Democrats that would repeal this draconian law didn't happen yesterday. We have other options. And we have a ballot initiative. It'll be on the ballot in November. Um, my, my hope is that that, you, you know, codifies what was essentially available for 50 years under Roe. Um, and this is going to be, you know, sort of a big deal during the, for, for our election. Uh, Senator Kelly, this is Eddie Glaude, and I wanted to ask that question. I mean, we can talk about the actual existential implications of these draconian laws, its impact on women. But let's just talk politics for a moment. What will this mean for the presidential election in Arizona? Do you think it will energize uh, Arizona voters? What role will women play, in your view, uh, in, in the outcome, determining the outcomes of Arizona for this election? 
Well, first of all, let me be clear. My biggest concern here is the health care of women in our Absolutely. state. I've got a daughter in our state. I've got a granddaughter now. And this is a disaster. And it is a huge change from what the status quo was under Roe. Um, but this is going to be on the ballot. It looks like the signatures are there. And I, I, I suspect that it's going to drive a lot of women uh, that might not normally vote to come out and vote and vote for Joe Biden. Uh, because, I mean, let's be clear, this uh, this Supreme Court ruling in Arizona said Dobbs 22 times. It might as well said Donald Trump. And folks in Arizona are going to under, understand that. And my, my hope is that they make a choice for change. And Joe Biden is going to fight for the rights of women fight for freedoms and fight against what the former president has allowed to happen. I mean, he literally set the conditions to pass or to bring back this 1864 law. Yeah. Hmm. Democratic Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona, thank you. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.